Question is from Andrew Beth. Is the term big boned actually a thing or is it an excuse for individuals who are overweight? Oh, absolutely, it's a thing. Well, uh, you guys ever see that 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 famous, like, uh, it's like I mean, an image. It's used as an excuse quite a bit. Yeah, though. you guys ever see that? Fam- it's like, an, it's not an x ray, but it's got, it's like an image like of an MRI. Sort yeah, of, of an obese person. Fat, yeah, mm-hmm. cells. Next to it's an obese person next to an average weight person. Mm-hmm. And the skeletal structure looks almost identical. Almost identical. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. But then, I mean, there is a, if you were to measure, me, measure, measure, <laughs> yeah, 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 if you were to measure my wrist and Justin's wrist, you and I'm a six foot three guy, so I'm a taller guy. I have a lot more muscle and I'm better looking. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, guy. <laughs> <laughs> he just slipped that in there. Yeah, yeah dude. It's, it's, I, it's, I don't agree with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's, but let's yet, put that to a poll. But yet he has a much bigger wrist, you know, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You came back. You came back and gave me something. He's, no, so. I've been working on it. I mean, the, uh, Husky. Husky. Uh, yeah. Semanotypes has has been debunked, right, which is the, the ecto, meso, and endomorph, is, which is what was in our old uh, textbooks. Yeah, the, the, the typical, like, skinny, tall, yeah. then the, like, athletic, easily muscular person yeah. and the kind of overweight, chubby person. But the one thing I don't like about them getting rid of those or debunking the semanotypes is there is some truth to that. There are certain people... There are different body types. Yeah, I mean, and, there there are. Are, and there are people that respond very well to building muscle and struggle with losing body fat and the opposite should some people respond really really well have really fast healthy metabolisms and burn body fat really quick but struggle to put on muscle so mm-hmm. yeah. uh, i do believe that there is now and to justin's point i i do believe there's a lot of people that use that as an excuse for being overweight and what i think those a lot of those a lot of the people that fall into that category are the ones that struggle with uh, fat loss. That's a, that's a, it's you know whether it be genetic. It, it's not necessarily directly correlated with their big bones. It's just genetically they have a harder time losing body fat. But what I would always tell those clients that would would complain about that is yeah, but we have an advantage for building muscle. If you're normally the person who struggles with losing weight and you can put on weight really well. Well, if, if you can put on weight really well, you normally can build muscle better than the, the person who, who who has the opposite struggle, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's advantages to both sides. But the whole the whole like genetic, um, you know, uh, I'm overweight because of my genetics. I'm uh, heavy because of my genetics. There's some truth to it, but there's also a lot of uh, false to that, okay? So if you go back uh, 100 years, 200 years, that you're not going to see nearly as many obese people as you see today. That's not the result of our genetics changing in that short period of time because over the course of evolution, 100 years is nothing. What, what that's a result of is lifestyle. And when you see families that are overweight, it's not their genetics either usually. It's usually because they all eat the same way. Mm-hmm. It's their family culture. Product of the environment. Right. So if you see an overweight kid, chances are you're going to have overweight parents. And in the yeah. past that we thought – Oh, it's because the genetics of the parents. No, it's their lifestyle. Mm-hmm. They have a lifestyle that promotes, you know, that kind of obesity. Um, if you can find pictures, you can actually go online and find pictures of uh, circus. Uh, you know, they used to call them the circus fat man, right? So back in the day, circuses used to have this really terrible, uh, you know, sideshow act where they would have people with deformities or people who would lady with the beard, yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff, and people would pay to stare at these at these people. And the circus fat man for at the at, you know in the, in the late eighteen hundreds or like whatever three hundred three hundred pounds right they would fit they would walk through Walmart nobody would even bat an eye but back then they were so considered so different that people paid money to look at them yeah um, and it's really because uh, you know times have changed that the, our lives have changed our lifestyle our calories the way we eat. are available that's right so it is often used as an excuse uh, but there is some truth in the sense that some people have bigger bones. Than other people, I would say genetically speaking, you're probably you know that probably will count for something like 20, 30 pound difference, not the 50, 60, 100 pound difference that we see today, where someone says it's my genes. Probably, probably not true. Uh, but as far as your bone structure is concerned, you can't do much to change that, right? And I think if you want to achieve any type of satisfaction with your life, you're probably better off not focusing on the things you can't change mm-hmm. and focusing on the things you can. 
Well, that's why I, li- I liked what you brought up, Adam, in terms of like turning that into a positive. Like, I can, uh, you know, more than likely, you're going to have the propensity to be able to build muscle if you have that as, you know, like like it's an issue, like that you will put on weight easily. Well, let's let's change what kind of weight that is. Right. So, yeah, I think I think a lot of things like that, um, you know, have have another like side to it that people aren't really focusing on enough. Right. 